You can add this to the list of items getting more expensive, lettuce. The cost is about to rise again. It could stay high all summer. You also might have noticed shortages at some of your favorite restaurants and chains. You can blame more flooding in California or increased shipping costs and those increased costs to farmers and distributors. Those are all making their way onto you. So for a closer look at the issue, we are joined this morning by Richie Johnsky, co-founder of Mr. Produce. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you know, Mr. Produce seems like a really great person to ask about the rise in the cost of produce. Romaine yeah, it and comes with the name. <laughs> Romaine and iceberg seem to be the most affected. They're probably also the most popular. Some experts are saying these are the highest prices they've seen in decades. What are the factors behind the rising costs? Well, they had some cool and wet weather uh, earlier in the year in the uh, northern growing areas, and that suspended the ability to plant and get into the fields. So. The plan was for the southern growing areas to go a little bit longer. And that was a problem as of last week because they got a lot of hot weather. So they weren't able to use a lot of the product that was down there. And the northern growing areas, um, aside from that cold and wet weather, have received all the flooding that you've heard about on the news and everything. And so that's just made, just compounded everything, just all the problems. So they can't do anything there so everything is delayed it's normally a transition time of year that this time of year from the southern growing areas near the california arizona border yuma and that's this time of year finishes up and then we go to the northern growing areas salinas and that's it every year it happens if the weather's good it's a little bit seamless if the weather's bad then or cold, rainy, inclement weather that that's going to that's going to affect it, and now all this bad weather has just made it worse. Yeah, and I think we feel it more because everything else is getting more expensive. You know, we're focused on lettuce here, but what about other vegetables? Can we expect those prices to continue being high? Um, they are riding high on some of them. Um, like cauliflower and broccoli, you might notice if you're in the stores are running a little high, but. It's not gonna be like it was at the end of last year with $12 heads of lettuce and whatnot. We're not gonna see that. It's gonna be more of a roller coaster ride for the next couple of months. And when we see you know, the weather getting nicer, it's all dependent on the weather. The weather cooperates, we're gonna see a little bit better pricing. If it doesn't and if, we, if there's more problems, we'll see, we'll see troubles right through till June. But you know, and at that point, we start to see other states and some parts of Canada growing local lettuce. So when there's more product out there, there's you know supply and demand. The, the prices will, will be cheaper. Of course, you mentioned weather, and you know we know that increased climate changes are causing supply issues for many industries, including growers. What are lettuce growers doing to prepare for incoming climate-related flooding, increased travel expense, other problems like that? Well, they are. They're trying a few different things, like. I mean, R and D is hard at work. They've been for years trying to try and grow elevated lettuce. Um, I think more of the tech is trying to grow indoor, uh, the vertical farms. That's where a lot of uh, the the focus is on been has been the last the last year or so. What's been the most frustrating part of all of this for you? Um, it's just the. Uh, the availability on shorts. We're food service distribution mainly to a lot of uh, restaurants, hotels, uh, you know, um, school boards, things like that. And when we're expecting the product to arrive, and it doesn't. So, and these pocket shortages are a little bit frustrating. I mean, it's never for a long time, but it's just, it's food service. So if something's not here today, tomorrow doesn't help. It's not like sitting on the shelf in the store. Right. Hard to make friends with salad when there's no lettuce available, Rich. That's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. So that's why, I mean, if we can do it here and we can do it locally indoor, then we'll be um, having a, you know, a much more seamless supply all year round with consistent pricing. But the product yeah. quality just hasn't gotten there yet for iceberg, romaine, those kind of things. Hey, Rich, I want to thank you for coming on your morning. No, no problem. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.